Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Cubs returning en masse to Air Venture. DJI and Hasselblad introduce a new aerial photography platform. AVSI and Aero News announce live Expo 17 webcast schedules. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's May 2nd, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Cubs are returning to Air Venture in large numbers again in 2017 and celebration of the 80th anniversary of the iconic airplane. On the website, Cubs2Osh.com, organizers of the event say that the mass arrival will take place Sunday morning, July 23rd, originating from Hartford Municipal Airport in Hartford, Wisconsin, northeast of Milwaukee. The 2017 80th Cubs celebration is in the planning stages, according to the website. Many of the highlights of the 75th will be repeated, such as the mass flight of the J3 Cubs to Oshkosh early Sunday morning, the gathering at the Hartford before the mass flight, and a reserve place for Cubs on the ground at EAA Air Venture Oshkosh 2017. EAA is directing everyone who inquires about the event to the Cubs to Osh website. Registration is currently open if you'd like to be a part of the celebration. DJI and Hasselblad have introduced the first 100 megapixel integrated drone imaging platform. The DJI M600 Pro Drone, the Ronin MX Gimbal, and the Hasselblad H6D 100C camera combine each company's expertise to create a tool for precise, detailed, and accurate aerial imaging. Professional drone users can continuously control camera operations in flight using the DJI Go app. The flight platform is the DJI M600 Pro Drone, a six-rotor flight platform equipped with the powerful Lightbridge 2 transmission system, a dustproof propulsion system, and six intelligent flight batteries. The M600 Pro can be guided by the DRTK GNSS system, which can withstand strong magnetic interference to provide highly precise centimeter level 3D positioning. The Hasselblad H6D100 camera offers a large 53.4 mm by 40 mm sensor. The camera mounts on the drone through the Ronin MX3 axis stabilized gimbal, which uses powerful motors and inertial measurement units to resist high G-forces, maintain stability, and hold the horizon. The M600 Ronin MX H6D 100C platform is the latest product collaboration since DJI assumed a stake in Hasselblad in late 2015, allowing the companies to explore fruitful collaborations on their advanced technology. Their first joint product, released in July 2016, combined the M600 drone platform with the A5D medium format camera. After the break, Southwest promises to stop overbooking flights. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aerial TV, the new AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aerial-news.net. Southwest Airlines will no longer oversell flights, according to the company CEO. Southwest CEO Gary Kelly said that the carrier has been taking steps for the last several years to prepare for ending the practice of overbooking flights. Southwest spokeswoman Brandy King confirmed that the plan could go into effect as early as May 8th. 
King said in a statement to the paper that the carrier has greatly improved its forecasting tools and techniques and will be implementing a new reservation system on May 9th. She said the carrier will no longer have a need to overbook as part of the revenue management inventory process. King did caution that there might still in some instances be more passengers than seats due to occasional operational challenges, but she said it will happen much less frequently. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. Next week is a big week for all things unmanned as AUVSI conducts its annual trade show and convention in Dallas, Texas at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center. On May 8, 2017, the largest global community of leaders in drones, intelligent robotics, and unmanned systems will come together to shape the future of our industry. If you've never attended AUVSI Exponential, this is the one year you don't want to miss. Exponential features exclusive speakers, innovative programs, and dynamic educational opportunities that inspire and strengthen the people who are shaping the future of our industry. The Exponential Innovation Preview, produced by ANN, will be revealed and published this weekend, while ANN's live coverage will convene Tuesday after 1 o'clock p.m. CDT and again on Wednesday at 10 o'clock a.m. CDT. Coverage may be accessed via www.airbornelive.net. After these messages, ALPA applauds Congress. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Alpa has expressed strong support of the Flags of Convenience Don't Fly Here Act, H.R. 2150, legislation to save American airline jobs, stop global offshoring schemes, and ensure a level playing field for U.S. aviation workers. H.R. 2150 was introduced in the U.S. House of Representatives as a bipartisan commitment to ensuring aviation jobs stay in America. A high school district in the greater Chicago area is partnering with Lake in the Hills Airport to offer ground school to students. High School District 155 in Algonquin, Illinois will prepare students to take the FAA's private pilot written exam. The course is designed to give high school students a foundation that could lead to a career in aviation. Japan Air Commuter has recently performed its first ATR 42-600 revenue flight. JAC Flight 3741 departed from Kagoshima on a 40-minute flight to Yakushima. The aircraft then performed three flights from Yakushima to Kagoshima, from Kagoshima to Okunoe Rabu, and back to Kagoshima. Uavionics has announced a new line of four integrated ping transceivers and navigation products reducing weight and installation complexity. The Ping 2020i, Ping 1090i, Ping 200SR, and Ping 200SI products combine the existing transceiver product line of Ping 2020, Ping 1090, and Ping 200 with the TSO certified fixed nav GPS into a smaller one-piece form factor that reduces weight on average by 40%. Rolls-Royce has won a $300 million order from Line Group for Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines to power three new Airbus A330 aircraft supported by Rolls-Royce flagship engine service Total Care. The Line Group already operates three of the aircraft, all powered by the Trent 700 engine. 
Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. AUVSI and our Airborne Unmanned Program production team have finalized the schedule for their live interview program series for Exponential 2017 set for May 8th through 11th in Dallas, Texas. The broadcast will be conducted, shared, and viewed as a live webcast as well as archived for future viewing and use. Following an extensive coverage and archiving of the opening day's festivities, the Airborne a and crew will conduct multi-hour live interview programs on May 9th between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock p.m. CDT and 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. CDT on May 10th. Each session will consist of over a dozen to 10 to 15 minute interviews with the best and brightest of Exponential 2017, offered live via www.airbornelive.net and also capable of being embedded on web pages throughout cyberspace. A strong social media program will support the effort via hashtag Expo17Live. AUVSI and ANN are building a guest and interview topic list now. Suggestions for the program are welcome and may be submitted via Jim at errol-news.net. In addition to the live broadcast, ANN will unveil AVSI's first exponential innovation preview in which some of the most promising companies and technologies will have a chance to offer an advanced look at the extraordinary news to be made at Exponential 2017. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, for additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. Do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest in aerospace stories and aviation anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.